welcome back in this video we will see how to implement gorm library into go language so let's go and see with the this is the official uh, document from the gorm so you can refer this uh, page or, or the, the documentation available online uh, to learn more but uh, let's start with the very basic or very first program about creating the program which helps you to create the table or migrate the table and then add uh, perform the add update and delete operation on the uh, table so let's go ahead and start that so i have created the main file here in uh, i have created the corm underscore tutorial or dash tutorial um, directory let's go mod let's do the uh, go mod init and then dash so let's do the go mod tidy so it will help us to create the mod and init file so now we will import our gorm external dependency or external uh, library and then we will also import the mysql drivers okay here we will let's let's yeah, add them underscore first for now so that it doesn't get deleted and we'll enable them as required so let's let's uh, go ahead and and implement the let's go ahead and um, create the database connection so um, to create the database connection we we will use the gorm so let's enable the gorm base library first gorm dot open is the the method which is used to connect here we will use uh, mysql so mysql dot open it's a method and then we will pass address of uh, gorm dot config okay for the mysql connect here we will pass the user root colon password at the rate for forward slash we will pass the uh, database name so we'll pass the database name here test underscore ms so i have already created the mysql uh, table or uh, database name test underscore ms just to test the this uh, for this tutorial i have already created the mysql database for this tutorial okay so uh, the uh, username to connect the mysql is root and root dot uh, dot one two three is the password for that so let's so it uh, gone dot open returns two variables one is your db or error okay so let's check if error is not equal to nil then we will then we will throw the panic error okay else we will print db connection object okay let's do one thing uh, we'll pass the invalid username and run the program 
so it should show the panic error okay unable to connect my mysql db so let's correct the database correct let's pass the correct database name and rerun the program it should dump the mysql connection string okay so it is printing the mysql connection string which is valid okay so we are good so far so now let's go ahead and uh, so what is our next step which is we have uh, completed the created the folder then we have imported the mysql libraries using the import statement and we have created the connection string here now let's do the next step which is create a user table okay in order to create a user table first we have to define the structure so type user struct so it will be id as a integer type then first name of a string data type last name of a string data type and let's add the email field of a string data type okay so we will use this username to create a table so we will use the db variable of a connection type db dot auto migrate is the method which helps you to create the user okay so let's run the okay let's go to the database connection let's refresh it and okay so user table is created here it has id first name last name and email field okay it doesn't have any record as of now so let's go ahead and add the record so let's create a user variable of a user type first name last name and email so first name let's say Sunil or you can say John do join dot do at test mail dot com so we will use db dot create and of user and let's run the program okay let's go and check the table okay so user is created john do id is one okay let's see the properties for this table id is your primary key primary key here okay and it is been set as an auto increment it's a primary key okay so let's go back to your okay so we have already created the uh, user here so let's copy this we'll pass id parameter we know id is one okay we'll update we'll update john to do to okay let's do let's keep it simple john to do to and john do to add gmail test mail.com and here we will use db dot updates and pass 
the username sorry uh, we'll pass the user variable of a user type okay and let's go ahead and run the program no error let's go to the database table uh, okay let's refresh it okay john john2 do2 and john do2 at testmail.com okay it has been updated so now we already know how to do add and update so let's go ahead and delete the record so you let's create a user variable of, of a user type it has id we know id is one now we'll use the db dot delete method and address of user variable okay let's run the program and let's see the user should be deleted okay so user is deleted as you have seen it is very easy to use gorm library to create update or delete a record we will connect again into the next video if you like my video please like and subscribe add your comments that helps me or motivates me to create the more content please let me know your suggestions as well thank you we'll connect into the next video